at what my parents played. Um, so that kind of got me into it, I guess. I was in the back garden at 18 months and then I was on Wickham Heights par three from the age of three. My dad had um, he cut down a, a little five wood, a six iron and a putter. And I just went out there with him. I think like, everyone my age would say Tiger Woods, obviously. Um, and he's been a, obviously a, an idol for, for everyone my age and what he's done for golf is pretty special. Um, I turned pro when I was, I think I was 19, when I was off plus four. Um, breakthrough year on European tour, I'm trying to think what year that was, 20, 2014. It was, uh, Pretty special. I was really happy to, to get off Challenge Tour in, in one full year. Um, and I was quite fortunate. I got off to a, a pretty good start. I think I had a top 10 in Abu Dhabi. And then a couple of weeks later, I finished tied second in, in Joburg. So obviously that was a, a great start early on. And that, that gave me confidence to kind of play the rest of the year without maybe worrying about keeping your card. I think that's one of the biggest goals when you when you get your card is obviously you want to secure it and um, having that fast start definitely helped. I, I remember playing in the in the Luke Donald Salver at, at Beaconsfield and, and playing in loads of junior opens and and obviously I was keen to to do something with, with Harleyford where I've been a member since I was 10 years old and um, it's currently open to BB&O. Um, if we look at expanding that in the future, that's yet to be decided. But it's um, it's great to have the, the the best players in the county playing here at Harleyford, and and hopefully they enjoy the golf course. I um, I enjoy going out the night before and, and doing the pin positions, and I'm sure some of them aren't too happy when they when they go out and play, and they can give me a bit of stick when they come in. It was obviously pretty special. Um, I was I was pretty calm all day. Obviously, I think before before I went out, um, when when I'm nervous, I kind of struggle with eating, and I sort of forced myself to have a, a bacon sandwich in the morning, which normally isn't a struggle. Um, polishing that off, but yeah, going out and it was the first time I think I'd gone out with a lead, and I was fortunate to get off to a really good start, and um, that that certainly helped and allowed me to enjoy the walk. Uh, up 18 which is obviously such a such a special place and um, yeah a moment I'll never forget. <laughs> uh, I'm, I feel like I'm quite a boring person actually. Um, I recently just had five weeks off and for the first three weeks I hardly left the house. Um, played a lot of Xbox which probably wasted too, too many hours on that. But yeah, obviously, I think because we're away so much, when, when we do get a chance to just be home, I think we just kind of make the most of it. And I certainly enjoyed the, the three weeks I had in the house. I think prior to that, I'd only had six weeks in the UK this year up until um, the middle of July, which obviously isn't a whole lot of time. So just to enjoy being home and being in your own bed is, is quite nice. Uh, Call of Duty, play Blackout on there, or obviously recently the FIFA 20's just come out, so um, I'll be wasting some money on Ultimate Team and, and losing matches, no doubt, but it's all good. Well, just like, all, all the way through the bag, obviously I'm very comfortable with this stuff. Um, the biggest thing for me is, is the driver. That's that. That helped me get my European Tour card. Um, I switched to the, the i20, I think with, with a few months left on, on Challenge Tour and um, just, I hit so many more fairways, it was, it was frightening. And that, that allowed me to obviously be more aggressive and shoot lower scores. And um, that's, I kind of put that down to get my European Tour card, switching to their driver really. Uh, it was obviously incredible from, from start to finish. Um, it only really sunk in when I got on the flight to, to go to Paris on, on the Tuesday. 
that that Friday morning, I was I was pretty nervous on on the range, but I had my dad there who he's my coach and we had a really good warm up and that that really settled me down and I felt comfortable with where my swing was and the positions that I kind of want to hit. I was I was hitting them each time and so I, I knew the feelings I needed and uh, standing on that first tee with with all the noise and then you see put the ball on the tee and everything just goes silent and it was it was quite a bizarre sort of feeling but I, was, I kind of stood over that and I was like, this is it. I was just so determined to see hit a, a great tee shot and thankfully I did straight down the middle and, and that kind of got me off and running. I think the biggest thing is obviously trusting yourself and I think everyone deep down knows what's right for them. I think it's easy to look at changing a whole lot of things, uh, especially as you work your way up through the, the later years in junior golf and and into men's golf, there's always people have got opinions of what you need to do. And I think if you if you trust yourself and, and you work hard and you're with the right people, then I think you'll be okay. I will say very important. Um, my, my dad does custom cl club fitting as well, um, but it will certainly certainly save shots. On, on a round of golf for you if you're using the equipment that's right with, with the right shafts and and also with the with the right shafts it will help you hit it further which is always a, a plus for any amateur and pro. I guess simple things like the basics are always the hardest things to get right. Um, obviously ball position you want that on your on your left heel and I, I see a lot of amateurs where their, their hand position is almost in front of the ball. Um, you almost want your hands sort of slightly behind the ball and that will help you sort of hit up on it. So I think that's, a, that's one thing that could, could help. It's not, it's the worst. Because <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's so frustrating. <laughs> 